Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and uh, it is time, everybody. It is time for some big time chaos, and I don't know how this is going to work out, or if it is going to work out, but we're going to try this. This is the, uh, this is the Archimegalo. Uh, we are going to be playing 12 games in a solo async multi-world. Um, and I have some, uh, I have a little bit of outline here as to how this is going to work. So, 12 games, like I said. Um, the two that are unlocked at the very start are bumper stickers, which we're going to start with bumper stickers, and Meritus. Uh, both, both of which I have contributed to, uh, Archipelago, so. I felt it was appropriate. Um, of the other games, there are four other games that are supported by Archipelago. There are four games that are unsupported, but should still work out, hopefully. Then there are two games that uh, use the manual client, and what this means is these games do not connect directly to Archipelago. I have to use the uh, manual client to tell me what it is that I have access to and uh, how I can progress currently. Um, so that's going to be kind of a mess, I'm sure, and I'm it'll work out fine. No problems at all. Um, I suspect that this will go down. This will be the smooth, the smoothest thing I've ever done in Rando. That's a fucking lie. Um, now th this is kind of a self-imposed thing. So no two games have the same hero. So if there is a Zelda game, there is only one Zelda game. If there is a Mario game, there is only one Mario game, and so on. So that's just kind of some flavor to make it to make things harder for me, basically. Um, so new games will unlock once that game has received five checks. So once a game has received five checks, I then have the ability to go into that game and start playing. Um, you may be able to identify those games from the checks that um, that are going to be coming in, but uh, the slot names are just going to be slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, so if you don't know the items, you won't know immediately what game is being played. Just keep the mystery of it. Uh, so just like in uh, the Super Shovel, hints are at 9%, so 9% of hint points will allow me to ask for a hint. Um, and I am allowed to send myself an item if I get super stuck in everything. So if I don't know how to progress, then I can send myself an item to get myself unstuck. Uh, progression balancing. Uh, normally we would have, we have that set at 50, higher the number is, the less you get stuck. Progression balancing here is a 20, which means things are going to be a little more spread out. We'll see how that works out. Um, and you might think, well, if I, if I finish a game, then I can just release all of my items, right? Well, there is a rule about that. I am going to have four releases. So once I finish a game... Uh, items will not be released automatically. I will need to be judicious about how I use my releases. I get a release once I finish one game, and then every three games after that. So at the fourth, seventh, and tenth, I get one more release. And ultimately, I'm going for 12 clears. I'm not going for 100%. Once I have reached the final goal, that's it. We're done. Because just to give you an idea, 
this is going to be 12 worlds. I am expecting this multi-world to have about 3,000 checks. So, it's a lot of checks. All right. With that out of the way, um, let me just make sure we're here. I'm going to check the script here. Oh my Okay, that does not exist. Okay. So if I press start, uh, that's going to start the uh, the timer here. Good. And then I press on bumper stickers, and then we're going to switch to bumper stickers. Now I'm going to put on this music, which is the music that the Megazoox version of bumper stickers plays. We're going to get started. You know what? It might help if I actually generated the game first. I forgot to do that. I have tested generation, but um, I haven't actually generated the game that I am officially going to be using. So this world has 2,983 items. It technically has 13 worlds, but the 13th world is literally just the text client that you see in the bottom right there. If I call it The Watcher. It, it is not itself a game. It has no checks. It's just there to have a central point so you can see what's going on. Generation is complete. Now it's generating the um, the ROM patches. Calculating playthrough. Yeah, so just save this file. This takes a minute. There we go. 82 seconds later, we have our game. As you can tell, I am absolutely a professional who has done this 17 times before. Uh, Supposed to be outputting to a log file that I can. There it is. I don't know why it wasn't. Uh... Let's try that again. Okay. 
So the server is now actually running. I mean, right, Tyrion? The game has begun. Um, also. Am I... <laughs> Frank, please. Also, hello. I, I have won the battle of starting this whole mess of a thing. Okay, so we have... A check for slot 7. By the way, uh, thank you to Grim for the resub during the uh, pre-stream. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work out so well. Yeah, that's bad luck. That's okay, we can just start again. It would be a little poetic if I could also finish with bumper stickers, but I'm not counting on it. Three more checks. Uh, so we've got a check for slot three. And a check for slot five. And a check for slot 12, which kind of frightens me. Maybe unduly. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, if I if I can properly gear myself up to uh, to make an actual interface for this. The, um, the log that I am hopefully saving correctly, yes I am, um, will help me to uh, determine basically, uh, crap, help me to determine how many checks um, every game has received, which ones and all that. Got another check for five. And we've got a check for eight. One more launch, that's another check, and that's for number ten. Basically, my, my intent here to start with is just to clear the, um, the tasks that I have available to me here. That's a familiar name for a check for slot 11. We're probably going to see a lot more of them, too. Uh, come on! Ah! To be fair, the, the start of bumper stickers tends to be a little rough. 
There we go. That's a times two. Here's another check for ten. I don't know why there are fireworks. There just are. People celebrating the, the start of the Archimegalo, I guess. Bubble tea from RuneScape. Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? Old school RuneScape. Home of the Waddle Dee. That's another one of those for Slot 11. Ah, another times two. Um, I'm going to go until the end of this life or until I get the score requirement because this might, I, I might need a paint can or two to get through this. Long purple, okay. So life continues. Uh, so that's uh, third one for number 10. If by the end of progression for Meridus, nothing is at, um, like, no other games are at five checks some, uh, somehow, then I'll just pick whichever one has the most checks. Or one of them that has the most checks. And dang way, um, that's all I can currently do in Bumper Stickers. And Sammy crushed. Fantastic. I'm so glad that this absolutely works with no problems. Give me a second. I'll fix it. Let's pretend it will. Oh, but I will need to actually. There we go. Okay. Um, so now let's go on to. Meritus. I should probably make sure that the mixer settings are correct, which they are not, so I'm going to adjust them before we move forward. And let's switch this for that. Stop that. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Secret Game 13 Stream Tech <laughs> Randomizer. <laughs> I mean... I can't really fault you for that. This is also the 64-bit version of Meridus, which a lot of people seem to have trouble starting up, and I don't really know what the deal is. 
Because, like, this is a fresh copy of 1.4 and it's starting up just fine. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a common problem. Like, I don't know what the issue is. Let me ask you something. Did you copy the game over top of the old version of Meritus? Or did you uh, copy it to a new directory? Because I've asked this question a few times and gotten no answer. You've tried both ways. I am... The only solution that I can think of is like, maybe I can try to load it in a virtual machine or something. Maybe there's something about my particular setup that is allowing this to run for me, but it's not running for other people. I don't know. I do not know what the issue is. As soon as I can figure it out, I will. Also, the assets are wrong. Uh. Also, I didn't actually configure. Hang on. Oh boy, this uh, this is an experience, isn't it? Um, also, uh, did you try the 32-bit uh, version or the 64-bit version? Because that's that's probably going to be important information as well. Sixty-four. Um, try the thirty-two bit one. I don't know. Like, all I know is a lot of people have reported this, and I don't know what the deal is. Okay. AP enabled. There we go. We're connected. We're started. Let's get to this. as well as on which they should be the same down here. Also the assets are still wrong. Okay, that is in check for slot 12. And that is another first lot eleven. And that's slot eleven open. Which I don't think I need to convince you at this point that it, that it is a curve game. Is it loud? Um, give me a second. I think I have it to the. Uh... Yeah, this is kind of as low as uh, 
At least my presets are set to. To, uh, I'm gonna have to check the, um, the assets here because these are incorrect. <laughs> oh, this is uh, a little too tight, actually. There we go. We'll take a hit there, but that's okay. Poke, actually. <laughs> All right. it Always a good feeling getting into a room and just immediately getting assaulted. Okay. Packed action at the very beginning. Here. Oh, geez, I heard a sound effect that I don't, I don't want to hear right now. I refuse to a bunch of missing deal. Like, I use the program to ensure that. Um, that I would have all the correct DLLs. I don't know what happened. Prime 32 again will be fine. Okay. Something's up with 64, but for some reason not for me. Which is the worst possible position because that means I can play the game just fine and have no trouble, but no one else can play it. And it's upon me to find where the problem lies. And like, the problem is I can't keep uh, maintaining the 32-bit version because the uh, one of the libraries that is used for Archipelago, uh, specifically the ASIO library, um, is no longer available in 32-bit. Was the exact? It didn't start right. Yeah, like. That real oh geez, got already an unseen. Cool. Alright. Alright, not too strong for me, fortunately. Oh my goodness. Hello, bipeds. Oh, 
Yeah, th this is just straight up and I didn't know this was going to be a problem until everyone started having it. Uh, there, there is a program called Dependencies that will um, read any Windows executable and tell you like, okay, it depends on these DLLs and then these DLLs depend on these other DLLs and so on. And so I use that to package everything. And I thought it was going to work, but evidently not. Let's another check for 11. Another check for 10. Another 7. Oh. There's a uh, residue that's trying to sneak up on me while I'm marking checks off here. Dip, but... Okay. I know how long I'll go with Meredith, but uh, I'll go for a little bit here. Sandwich in your GPU. Grim, are you certain you know how computers work? Man, everyone knows that the sandwich is not, is not socketed. You'd have to desolder it if anything. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bye bye. Anything else over here? No. Got hit. That was the last one. Yeah, when, when I'm probably gonna end up doing is um, I have a Windows virtual machine in Linux. Um, I have a few but uh, one in particular that uh, is a little more uh, beefy I guess. I will try to extract it to that and try to run it in that. A treasure room with a beta vault cache just in it. Very nice. Uh, so that was slot three. And slot eleven. Slot ten. Slot ten is open now.
Oh my goodness. Kinda ran into that one, that's fine. Oh my goodness, that's not fine. Ow. Okay, I need to get out of here. Can I bust, actually? It takes my entire bar, but I can. At least there's that. But, uh, kind of- oh! The circuit refills do- okay... Unlike Virtue, who just died. Oh good, another one of you. Yeah, the Ethereal Monocle definitely, yeah. Uh, Definitely helps out with things. But, uh, I'm a little underpowered as well. And the, this game definitely likes to surprise you with everything. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Surprised that was enough charge, actually, but the uh, the residues are not really that strong to begin with. Whoa! Really need to start considering going into rooms with like at least some charge, so that that doesn't happen. It's probably not the room to be using the uh, the crystal magnet. Kind of a big room. Guess I'll go until like until I've explored, let's say, five percent. Then I'll go back to the entrance, cash in my crystals, and see what. Enough for you, huh? Now you have two of you to do that. As far as the whole yellow thing, it's like uh, it's it's a little annoying to have so many yellows, but like I don't really know what else to do. That that's basically just how uh, Minji W ends up building the game. 
to require like 17,000 damages. Particularly amenable to the situation. There we go. Ah! It's a little faster on the draw there if I'm saving. So, oh! Jeez. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, let me amend my situation. We'll go until I have explored 5%, or until I run out of lives. Popping up right behind the door is not going to help me not run out of lives. But also, I'm not playing that great, so you know. But yeah, like, I do at least start myself with one point of reflection, because, like, go going to say again that this game starts out really rough, so just, even just the one point of reflection helps in this game. Respectfully ask him to fuck up. Check for slot 12, which opens up slot 12. Oh, good. This is exactly what I want right now. Yeah, it is kind of funny though, like, one of my plans was to change, um, basically I wanted to have um, the music processed by LibXMP, which is a library, like a, a tracker library that is a lot more accurate than uh, most of the other libraries, like Mockplug and stuff like that. Uh, in doing my research, I found out that current versions of SDL Mixer, which is what is currently used, use LibXMP. So that saved me a lot of work, at least. Oh boy. A lot of bullets. You know, if you know. Now, at least I got a lot of hearts on the field, so. Can I do it? Nope. There's still a couple of them out there. Another one, 
Uh, that is that 10, which is already open. So that's 7. Just excel in not dying. Oh my goodness! That's a Discord. Or, no, that's a laser. One of the two. Something really rough that I don't want to deal with with like five points of size circus. And something that is doubtlessly on my tail. Oh boy. Alright, um, you know what? I think I'm good for the moment. Let's see what else we can open up. We got slot 6. It's the first check for slot 6. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, that's another one for slot 7. I don't, don't think I mark the one that I got from the chest, so that is slot 7 open. Slot 9. So every game has received at least one check. Well, actually? Yeah, Meredith and Bumper Stickers still haven't, but uh, every other game has received one check. Slot six. That is number two. Slot five. That is number one. Slot five is now open. And uh, one Slot eleven, which is out. This might give us enough for maybe one more, maybe two. Maybe another for slot 12. It's an interesting check that I just got, but anyway. I'll get to that. I'll only get to that. Okay, what is crashing here? Command line 6. Command line 6 of 8 games. Yeah, the, the times are going to be all way off. Oh, I see. I'm going to turn that command off for now, then I'll figure it out later. Yeah, the times are going to be all the way off for this first session, but I'll sort things out afterward. Okay. So with that, we've done our two inaugural games, I'm going to move on to a supportive game, and we have unlocked one of them. There it is.
start a game yet. Give me a second. Okay. So yes, uh, our next game is Tunic. Oh right, I forgot to reconnect. You know, it would be great if Sammy didn't crash every three seconds. Tunic. Apparently there is an update available. Not gonna worry about it. Okay. You know, when you wake up on what seems like a deserted island and there's just you just explode into $128. Also, I should probably open the tracker for this. That'd be a good idea. I don't know why it's taking this long to load. There we go. Okay, well, I guess there's a lot here. Okay. I swear, like, I need, like, a secretary to uh, help me keep track of all of this right now. That is slot 9. That is the second check for slot 9. Oh right, I have a color randomizer on room transition. Our little foxy fox friend is going to change colors every time I change areas. I do not currently have a weapon and therefore do not want to engage in combat. Forever. I guess I, I guess we skipped that cutscene. Yes. Oh, that was a pretty good check for slot eight. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do a whole lot without uh, without a sword.
But we'll we'll try and we'll see what happens. Actually, is there anything else that I can do? Um, I can... What's the bomb code? Okay, um, I'm going to use that one dynamite to blow this, attempt to blow this wall, there we go. It does give me a check. Slot 11. According to the tracker, it says I should be able to do a decent amount of stuff here. Am I gonna have to use the firebomb as well? Blow this up. Oh geez. This ain't great. Open the box. Oh, I'm definitely going to die. Oh, I didn't die. Okay. Well, thank you for proving me wrong. This is the shop. We'll see what's over here. What do you have for me, sir? Two waddles D. An opal. A slot 10. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. What is this? Oh, I can pay 300 money for 40 money. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass, thank you. And that's about it the, that I'm interested in and can actually buy right now. Actually, I might need more fire bombs. Do you have? I don't have money for fire bombs. Damn. Um, I forget if I have it set up that I have to collect the Holy Cross before I can actually use it. Let's see. Which one is it? Is it any of those? I 
Okay, well, in, anyway, the, uh, looking at the Holy Cross page here, um, all of these are red. I do not have access to them, so I assume that uh, it is set up that I need to collect the Holy Cross before I can use it. Oh. And there's a bunch of lit up checks, it's just I'm not really sure. I'm not super experienced at this rando. So that's the statue. Thing there anyway. Nothing there. Can I bomb this? Or do I specifically need a fireball? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying the uh I'm trying the code, it ain't working, so definitely need to collect the Holy Cross separately. Is this? No. I need to unlock prayer separately as well. Yeah, there might definitely be something that I'm missing here, but uh Well, I could get this check if I do it right. But then I'm not going to do it right. Because there is a check down there that I can bomb. But I would have needed a bomb to get there and a bomb to actually do the thing. And I squandered my bomb to get there. So I think for now, I'm going to move on. Maybe there is something that I'm missing, but... Now if I click on transition out, okay, it's not going to crash. I, I know what the problem is and I need to figure out how to fix it. Okay, so what's open? I think I'm going to go with an unsupported game. Make sure that uh, it's coming through. Yeah, I think that is.
All right, I need to actually make sure this is getting captured because currently it is not. Do I have a capture for this? I don't. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make one then. Uh, where is it? Games built on Chromium cannot be captured using Game Capture. Well, at least you're telling me that. Okay, then. It's kind of another argument against uh, every other program on my computer appears to be a web browser in disguise. I am not a fan of programs that are just web browsers in disguise. I am a fan of this game, despite that. Some of my most hated technology, one of my most favorite games, CrossCode. Um, so it's giving me New Game Plus options. I'm just going to turn on this maximum credits experience and drop rates. Um, ice physics on at all times? I don't think so. Randomizer start. And then trophy block. Because not exactly playing strictly legitimately here. Feeling out of combat, only possible at landmarks. Ooh. Using the map menu to teleport is only possible at landmarks? Yikes. I should have put some thought into like which things that I want here. Before starting. I don't need to spend all of my points. I'm just gonna... I think I'm probably good. All right, let us begin our journey. Slot 12 and slot 10. Is there anything over on this side? I forget. Just a bunch of info panels. Let's 
still like that this guy is named Mr. Nomsworth. Check number two for slot four. Also, I do get to start myself with the chest detector. And I turn on Kunoichi because it's cute. And a little butterfly pet. Because why not? With a flea. Schmetterling. Alright, I, I did kind of reacclimate myself to the controls a little bit here um, before starting, so I kind of remember how to play. Thank you, Sergey. Hmm. Actually, by now I should have received my party member. And that is not something that is unlocked via the multi world. I think I need to, like, stand in a very specific place that I haven't. Yeah, there's an enemy. There we go. Wasn't gonna leave without you. Not for real, anyway. Or firework. I don't understand what is happening that there's so many fireworks. Well, I apologize for that. Not that I really have any control over the fireworks. That's slot 12. I definitely do appreciate the other players in this world kind of running around and sometimes giving you hints as to like, how do I get up there? That's how. Oh. I mean, I would like to not have to go down there. I don't look like I have a choice at this point. I guess I could have also just disengaged, but uh... 
do need to get some levels here. sure what I'm still in combat with, well, other than you know, this red hedgehog, hedgehag. There we go. Thank you, Heavenly. Okay, so that is a quest complete that I just need to turn in. That's a level up. Hmm. A fun time of remembering how to get up there. Probably gonna be over here. of Cutter to slot 11. Should be the only chest in this area. There's one in this area. Which I think is... Basically, there's going to be like a mini boss here at some point, and uh, it's going to reveal a chest over here. I don't know, but it kind of feels like those fireworks are getting closer. It's you.
Just over here, and there's one there, which I probably get over there from the other side. It has a plus on it, so I'm guessing that's probably going to be important. up the ledge. There should be another chest somewhere around here. Wait, did I even get the... I did not. I am a doofus. Okay, that was not all that important other than to progress the unlocking of slot 3. do they have? Laser bridges. Just here somewhere. Perhaps if I follow this path. Oh, but there is a path over here. Uh, 
that is not accessible right now. I think I just go west right now. There are two chests here. Get up the ledge. There's one there, but it is locked at the moment. sure where these chests could be. Well, that's gonna have to remain a mystery for now. I don't I don't know why there are fireworks. Please send help. I apologize if that's a problem, but unfortunately there's literally nothing that I can do until they just run out. Unless it turns out that one of them like robbed a, a, um, a fireworks factory or something. Now that is a check for slot 4, but it's a trap. So I am not going to count it. I mean, as long as it's not too rough of a storm, I still don't want, to, want the power to go out. <laughs> Sending the waterworks to, to stop the fireworks. Well, hopefully it can roll low so I can not have to pay them a whole lot. Please do not keep him cornered in a place that I can't see where his back is. Well, all right then.
I got any, like, any equipment or something? Nope, that's the basic rookie equipment. And that's good if they don't bother you. Um, I still would like to know what the occasion is. Because I, I literally can't think of anything other than it's the end of July. It's the next to last day of the month. guys are level 10. I don't think I want to fight level 10 dudes with a level 1 equipment. In fact, these guys are level 9. I probably should go back to town and get something. Another item for slot 10. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Um, Alright, well that gives me a couple of free pieces. Which I can immediately turn this in and get some more free pieces. Edge o all. That's a little better. And still use a little better equipment. Weapon shop de Omase. looking for uh, for me to cook uh, let's get this bronze edge that's also an, an advantage of uh, going to a shop is you have any party members, they'll probably buy something too. J Pop with Prime Risa right this minute. Hi, hello, good luck. Hey, that's not my good luck emote. This guy is AFK. Also, like, I think I might need to replace the, um, the control stick on this, uh, Switch Pro controller, because, like, it goes off-center, like, way too often. I've seen some nice ones that are, like, magnet-powered. It's 
that game I can't deal with because it plays like those <laughs> no more perker games that I can't play for long. <laughs> Momo, Momo Repurger. Very good word. I'm definitely feeling like I'm doing more damage. Probably taking less as well, but like the goal is to not take damage. So was there any particular reason that the stream last night was going to be on Zero's channel rather than yours, J-Pop? sure where Emily ended up there. I think she might have like fallen off a ledge or something. Basically a free level just for a little parkour course.
And there is some stuff up there, and I want it. So that chest there. I think I need to like ah need to get to that first one before I can get to that one. Another bottle D. This is it. This may be. Aha! Well, that reveals that. That's a couple of more checks. And now that I've uh, solved that puzzle, I can dive into the water like a doofus. Check for slot four, which kind of gives away what slot four is. Hey, mister, I did it. Onward and forward. Forward, not backward. Upward, not forward. And always twirling, 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 twirling. Freedom. Hmm. 
Like this might be one of my favorite games, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I remember how to get everything in it. But that's okay. I will at least try to keep this moving a little bit. I made it to the Bergen Trail. Not to be confused with the Oregon Trail. Okay, you need a bronze mail. Okay. Otherwise, I should probably see. Yeah, I probably need to put some points on my circuit board here. Um, it's guard art. Dash art, throw art, melee art. Okay, let's get uh, let's get that armor for our fearsome friend. Probably, I should probably get some bronze mail for myself too. There we go. Ideal equipment. Also a little uh, frightened. Couple of chests. Maybe I'll get this one over here. Green Arbor for me. I mean, it's all for me. It's just. Ooh, Mine Key. Well, that's gonna unlock our first dungeon, I believe. Uh, 
Uh, this wasn't the, uh, yeah. I know there's a place where it looks like it's a jump into, you know, the abyss. But in fact, it does lead to another area. Laser bridge. I take that back. These bunnies are not cute. Small fluffy fighting machines. Hmm. Not really sure how to get that chest. I think that uh, the platform is going to be a little too high. Oh wait, no, this is climbable. There we go. That's slot 8. Unless I've missed some and I'm sure I have, that is the rechecks for slot 8. Two more to unlock it. Trying to perfect counter that. Deco. For anyone who's not aware of what that ticking is at the end of combat, basically you, you go into a state of post-combat, and you can extend your combat by just starting a fight with something else, uh, but if you end the combat, uh, then your combat rank gets reset. The higher your rank, the better your drops are. Combat still feels fantastic in this game. Another check for slot 10. Uh, 
And I just realized we're, uh, we're at the two hour mark. So next check mark, uh, next checkpoint I get into here. Uh, I'll call that good for the moment and uh, we'll take a break, play something else. We're probably not going to see all of the games today. I kind of wish that a game like this existed in real life. And uh, there is a bridge into the snow. There, there are MMORPGs, yes. But none of them that actually, like, put you directly into the world. A lot of D. Is that probably going to be worth it? Two more checks over here. Oh, this is the parkour again. Part of the problem here is that I don't know if it's the if it's the case for you, but like for me the colors are all blown out. Yeah, I messed that one up. But you know what? I'm good. Um Boy. But it is. Break time. You all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we will continue on this Arkham Megalo adventure. So, I'll see you in a bit.